Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Norris, and welcome to Tuesday's Power Play with Leading Men Only. I just thought I'd talk to you today about uh, Disney. Uh, and the reason why I bring that up is because, for whatever reason, my kids, who are only four and six, respectively, have locked on to Disney. Not only do they enjoy watching Disney, uh, but uh, they now have caught on that uh, there's a place out there called Disney World, and they want to see it. And with that in mind, it just reminds me, as you can appreciate, uh, Disney has just inspired so many people. It's such a creative organization. And it left a, a thought with me, especially with my kids, is now, now they dream of going to Disney. And it, it comes out quite often in, in the course of a week. And, you know, I guess it really brings to mind the question, do you have an unfulfilled dream for yourself? Uh, whether that's at work, at rest, at play, as a, a as a leader, wherever you are, is there a dream you're looking to fulfill? Because there, if there is, you know, you can take a lot from an organization like Disney. You know, I, as I said, my two little kids have got this dream now of going to Disney. Now, admittedly, that's going to take a little bit of doing uh, because one, not so sure they're old enough to really fully appreciate it. We want to make sure that we get the return on the investment We're traveling all the way from Scotland over to Florida experience a, a full-on experience at Disney uh, for two weeks. At least that's my aspiration. Plus, it gives me an opportunity uh, to be a little kid all over again. But I guess a, a question which comes to mind in respect to their dream, and it should be no different to your dream or, or mine as well, is, you know, why does Disney particularly appeal to kids? Why does any dream appeal to anyone? And really, it comes down to, you know, a quick assessment I look at my daughter and my son, the way their face lights up is, you know, clearly Disney already has captured their imagination. You know, it's inspired them uh, in many ways to be a bit more creative and it's inspiring them to actually, uh, uh, certainly their prayer life is full with prayers to go on to Disney, um, but it's excitement. And, you know, if your dream is not exciting, if your dream is not inspiring you, then how can you expect if other people aren't going to be inspired as well? That is your responsibility as a leader is to get them inspired, get them excited. And much like Disney, you know, Disney, often, if you look at their movies, uh, at least the, the films that uh, I like to watch with my kids, which I'm a big Disney fan, is they all have a core lesson behind them. You know, in many ways, you can dub the term edutainment because not only are entertaining, but there's a core lesson behind them. And in anything that you're doing in your leadership, your dream has got to be delivering on a purpose, has to be delivering a message, a core message about who you are, what you stand for, and ultimately what, you're, uh, what value you're bringing uh, to your marketplace, what value you're bringing to your people, what value you're bringing to your family, what value you're bringing to your team. And I guess the core point here is I read a book uh, several years ago, and it really, I like to distill books down as simple messages. And actually, Disney's book, uh, this was a book on Disney called The Disney Way, and it's their whole approach to leadership and management. And it's just summed up in four words, dream, believe, dare, and do. And in relation to your leadership, are you dreaming? Are you believing? Are you daring? And are you doing? Because I, I, the power play for today is really, okay, so let's clarify for yourself, what's your dream? And then how much do you believe in it? And then thirdly, dare to, are you daring yourself to act on it? And then lastly, the fourth, is just go out there and do it. Make it happen. So hopefully that's been of help. Uh, a little bit of uh, segue from the normal run-of-the-mill stuff of the day. Um, perhaps a little bit entertaining, perhaps a little bit inspiring, but hopefully it's ignited within you that power to dream, believe, dare, and do. If there's anything else I can be or do, please drop by my Facebook page at Richard Norris Biz, or head over to the website if you haven't already done so, leadingmenonly.com. And for those who haven't signed up for the newsletter and access to some other materials, please sign up for uh, that and you will be receiving shortly a report on three costly mistakes most men make in leadership and how to fix them fast. But other than that, have a great day. Take care and be awesome. Thank you.